What's going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a whoosh transition in Sony Vegas. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. With that being said, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see, I have Vegas Pro 14 up along with still images. Now I'm going to be demonstrating this with still images. As you can see, we have this text pattern and then we have red. Now the reason I picked red is because they're completely different colors and you're gonna be able to see the swoosh transition really good. Now I'm gonna be showing you the most simplest way to do this which does require a plugin and it's the one I use all the time. So for this, I'm gonna head over to transitions. I'm gonna come all the way down and I'm selecting S underscore swoosh pan. And this is the transition. Now, although it looks like that now, if I drag and drop this in the middle between them, you'll get this. As you can see, they are overlapping. And that is what you want. Now, in some cases, which happens to me quite a lot when I'm editing, I'll drag and drop it in between when they're together, but it'll turn out like that. Now, the way I counter this, I go over up to 15, 0.15 or close to it. Then I drag the left video, or I would split it by pressing S on my keyboard, holding control and dragging it out. This just makes it slow motion, so then the video actually lasts longer. So that's how I counter that, it's really simple. And then from here, we're done. So if I play this, as you can see, that is what you're gonna get. It just swishes straight to the red. Now, not everyone has this plugin, so I'm also going to be showing you a way how to do this without a plugin. Now, I'm not too sure if people are actually going to do this because it is quite time consuming just for a transition, but I'll be showing you anyway. So the first thing we am going to do is right click, insert a video track, and we're going to drag the right clip on a next video track. Now, you choose how long you want this swoosh to last or this whoosh transition to last. So for me, I am going to do 17 frames. I know it's pretty precise, but that's how much it is. And this I think will be the best one. If you go too long, it won't look as good. Now what we're gonna do, we're going to split here on the bottom clip and we're also gonna split here on the top clip. So we have these two boxes and this is what's gonna create our swoosh transition. The first thing we're gonna do is come to the event pattern crop on the first video track, which is at the bottom. Now pay attention to this part because some people may get confused in it, but it's actually really simple. Make sure sync cursor is checked. Make sure you have it move in X only so it looks like that. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna come to the end, make sure you are selected on position and we're gonna drag this off to the right like so. Now at the moment, as you can see, we can't see that clip below and that's okay. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come to the event pattern crop on the top clip. This time on the first keyframe, we're gonna drag this to the right. And then we're gonna come to the end up here and we're just gonna select right click and restore. And we can X out of this. Now, this is what we have. As you'll see, it's just like that. Now, it's pretty boring for now as you can see but we will make it look better so what we're going to do is head over to the video effects and from video effects we're going to scroll down until we see gaussian blur if you don't see video effects here then simply come to view windows layout and select default layout now from gaussian blur drag on the default one on the bottom clip all we're going to do turn the vertical range down come to the animation button on the first keyframe we're going to turn this horizontal range off but on the last keyframe we're going to bump it all the way up and then we come to the red or the top video track and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to drag and drop Gaussian Blur, turn the vertical and the horizontal range down, animate the horizontal range. At the end, we're going to put this all the way up and this is what we're going to get. As you can see, that is how it will look. So we get that same effect like we do with the plugin, except this time we're just using the event pattern crop and the Gaussian Blur. Now I'm going to be doing the exact same thing again, but this time with the video so you can see it better. As you can see, we still have these uh, test bars here, but we're going to leave that the same. But this is the video from my sad effect, the example. So again, we're going to split here. So we have these two little boxes. We need to come to the event pan and crop. And then since this is the top track, we're going to drag this off to the right hand side. And then we're going to come to the end and right click and restore. So it gets back on screen. Then we come to Gaussian Blur, drag and drop this on the top video track vertical range and horizontal range come down. We animate the horizontal range and at the very end, we turn the horizontal range all the way up. So now this is what it will look like. As you can see, just like that. 
and that is what we're going to get and it gives us that same sort of effect as you can see that was pretty fast so maybe more than 13 keyframes maybe stick with one second but as you can see, we get the same effect as we do with the plugin. But that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial has been useful for you. Like I mentioned at the start of the video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.